Well, hello everybody. Um, I've had a few inquiries about some structural things, and in particular about vergence of structures, and therefore working out uh, the direction of a antiform or syncline or anticline uh, antiform based on things like cleavage bedding uh, angular relationships and vergence of minor structures. So here's a picture of a simple fold. It's a simple fold of some mud rocks. So all the rocks taking a good cleavage and this has a single cleavage. So if we put the trace of the bedding on, the trace of the bedding looks like that. We can then add the trace of the axial planar cleavage, which looks something like that. So one of the uh, key points here is that towards the hinge of the fold, um, there is an angular relationship somewhere in there, right on the hinge, where cleavage and bedding are at 90 degrees to one another. If we go on to this limb of the fold here, we can see that the bedding is steeper than the cleavage, but on this limb of the fold here, the cleavage is steeper than the bedding, and using that information, you can therefore look at the vergence of the structures. One of the key things I haven't told you about these rocks is which way up they are, and the way up of the rocks obviously determines whether it's a sin form or a sin cline. So if the rocks are the right way up, it's a sin cline. If the rocks are inverted, it's a sin form, which is anticlinal. Getting the way up of the rocks, of course, has to be done independently from any structures, way up structures that you find in the rocks, such as cross bedding, burrows, and so on and so forth. So let's move on just a little bit to vergence of stru minor structures. So if we have a simple um, fold couplet like that, which is sinform antiform, what of course we know is that minor structures will have a similar vergence uh, on each side of that fold. So what we have is two geometries of three, sorry, three geometries of fold vergence. The ones across there are Z, those in the hinge line are M, and those up there are S. So <clears throat> if you know where you are in terms of the geometry, Z, M or S, you can get um, a location on a major structure from the vergence of minor structures. So in this particular case, um, if you're on Z folds, what you know is that the anti-formal structure is to the right of the image, and if you're on S holds, uh, S folds, the anti-formal structure is to the left of the image. What we can then do is superimpose on that the axial planes of those two folds and the associated cleavages like that. Okay, and what you'll see is that the angular relationship again, uh, cleavage and bedding is similar to the previous diagram. So that here we've got bedding steeper than cleavage. Okay, and uh, over here we've got cleavage steeper than bedding. So that's just a few little points about vergence. The key thing is though, to know whether you're antiformal or sinformal requires looking at way up structures within the rocks themselves, and that has to be done independently of any uh, measure of fold vergence. So I hope that's of some uh, reasonable use to you.